God bless you all. Today we are going to be talking about something very crazy that happened and changed America and maybe the whole world forever. The most hated woman in America. Her name is Madeline Murray O'Hare. If you don't know who she is, she was the woman that changed the policy of mandatory prayers and Bible reading in Baltimore public schools in which she named her first son William J. Madeline Murray O'Hare was an outspoken advocate of atheism and the founder of the organization American Atheists. The American Atheists, the group founded by Madeline O'Hare, three decades back that sadly succeeded in driving prayer from the public schools, says William J. And the schools forever changed it. The U.S. Supreme Court banned school sponsored prayer in public schools in a 1962 decision saying that it violated the first amendment if you don't know the first amendment it guarantees freedom concerning religion expression assembly and right to petition but students are allowed to meet and pray on school grounds as long as they do so pri privately and tr don't try to force others to do the same so how is this a problem when a country belongs to the lord and someone comes to make the country st st stop following god and follow their own ways they need to know that there are consequences now i'm gonna read two um two like two four verses from two different books first one will be two timothy chapter four verse three to four Reading in the name of God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. For the time is coming when people will not endure sound teaching, but having itching ears that will accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own passions and will turn away from listening to the truth and wander off into myths. Amen. And this other one is Psalms 14 verse 1 that says, The fool says in his heart, there is no God. So, to sum it all up, to remember the dangers of speaking against God's word. And without God, there is no such thing as joy and peace. Now that most of the world doesn't serve God, but serves idols and other things besides God, that's why there is war, hatred, violence, pride, greed, and so much more. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John 14, 6. Only in Christ is new life and peace in such a dark world. Such as today, escape the wrath to come and receive eternal life through Jesus Christ. God bless each one of you. And remember, Jesus loves you.